Good morning. This is Prophetess Angela Cook here with a prophet's voice this Sunday morning. I pray that your morning is well and you are still loving the Lord Jesus because he still loves you. Amen. There is a word this morning and this word actually was stirring in my spirit from earlier this week. And I just want to share it with you because I will tell you this. It was good for me. It's a word of encouragement this morning and we're going to be coming out of Psalms 91. It's a very, very common, very popular Psalms here in our Bible. But this morning, I just want to encourage you with some of the words that are being spoken here. I'll be reading from Psalms 91 in the Amplified Bible. So let's begin there. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no enemy can withstand. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust with great confidence and on whom I rely. Moses actually wrote Psalms 91. And any time that I've read this Psalms, I think about Moses standing out and addressing the different tribes. And I see him addressing the people and letting them know and reminding them as they're out in the wilderness, letting them know that, hey, listen, I want to tell all of you something, that if you dwell here in the shelter of the Most High, then you're going to be secure. And you're going to rest in the shadow of the almighty God. And I can see for some, it would give them great comfort. For some, they might even question, well, how was that? And for some, they're just simply trust Moses and say, okay, I believe I'll keep this place and have this place to be my dwelling place. And I won't go off and wander and search for my own way. I love Psalm 91 because in so many times it has assisted me. And beloved, you'll find yourself in this day and time in 2021 where there will be many things that will press you on each side. There will be the oppression of this, just to be honest, this demonic world structure. Remember, the Bible says you're in this world, but you're not of it. Then there's the press of your own flesh. Hallelujah, let's crucify that. And then there is Satan himself. There's so much that's going on and there's so many things that's fixed against you. But yet we can read here in Psalms 91 and be encouraged that if we should just dwell in the shelter of the Most High, then it's a promise. Then because the Bible says we shall abide under the shadow of of the Almighty. So let me ask you this. Where do you dwell? Where do you find yourself dwelling? Because wherever you find yourself dwelling, then beloved, that's what shadow you will come under. For example, I dwell in my home, meaning, uh, have you ever been asked that question? Someone will say, uh, where do you dwell? Where's your place of dwelling? You may have filled it out in the application or something. Dwelling. Well, that means I spend most of my time, my days, I lay my head down. That's my place of rest. My dwelling, for example, is my home. So if the Bible is telling me here that if you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, then that means you remain and you stay and you you live there. That's the place where you have your focus at. And, and the Bible is letting us know that, beloved, dwell in that secret place. Dwell in that secret place of the Most High God. Don't dwell on the past. Don't dwell on your past failures or your shortcomings. Don't dwell in that relationship that is so crumbling. Don't dwell there in the places that really hurt you. Or don't dwell in concerns and and fears. Don't dwell there. Don't spend a lot of your time there. Because, beloved, I want you to be reminded that the Bible tells us that we are seated in heavenly places. 
But if we're keeping our mind, hallelujah, we have to remind ourselves of this. If we're keeping our minds and dwelling in the place that is uh, anchored or attached to the things of the world, then the shadow of the world is a place where we will abide. And that is not where God will have us. Now, listen to this definition of abide. Abide means to accept or act in accordance with a rule, decision, or recommendation. Or it even means to be unable to tolerate someone or something. And if we stop and we think about that, then it means that wherever we dwell, we're going to come under the rule, decision, recommendation. We're going to begin to act or accept that way. Biblical meaning is to remain stable or fixed in a state. That means to abide. So, beloved, where are you dwelling? The Bible tells us to dwell in God. Because if we dwell in that secret place, spending your time, sacrificing your time, get into that place because you love your Lord, because you want to hear his heartbeat, because you want to feel his very pulse of love. If that's what you desire and the Bible and the, our Lord wants us to desire that, then that's the place where we'll dwell. And so that is a promise that you shall act according, according to God and his deity and who he is and his biblical structure, godly structure, you begin to accept and act in accordance to what your Lord, your most high God and who he is. So you shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. And so always, always remember, if you feel in the weight of heaviness from everything around you, or if you simply want to be in that place again, to where you will uh, fly high and soar high and without the weights of the world, then dwell right there in the secret place of the most high God. And it doesn't always mean getting there in that closet of yours. You can go into your secret place right there in the midst of everyone. Just go inward. He's right there. Your very body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So you want to dwell, you can still. You can be in the midst of so many people, but be gone in that secret place right there in the Lord. Keep your mind stayed on him. He said he'll keep you in perfect peace. The Bible continues on. It says here, "Will you will remain secure and rest, hallelujah, rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I think of that word shadow. And when I hear, when I think of that word shadow, you know, shadows go afar from where the object is, from where the sun shines on the object. The, the shadow can go afar. And so when we dwell there in the secret place, then even going around and walking around, we're in his shadow. We're still in his presence. We're still right there. And a shadow, I think of a cooling place. Because Beloved, there's times when the enemy will shoot his fiery darts at you and you'll feel the heat. And I can I can just see it now being scorched by the sun because I'm out of the shadow. But, look, but beloved, right here, it says, if you stay here, then you're going to remain secure and rest in the shadow. And Amplify says, whose power no enemy can withstand. That's encouraging right there. Whose power no enemy can withstand. Are you feeling the weights and oppression of the enemy? Well, you need to remain in the shadow. You can remain in the shadow of the Almighty. I'll say to my Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in whom I trust with great confidence and on whom I rely. When I stop and think about that, in whom I rely. He is my refuge. He is my fortress. That means he is my security. That is where I go and I can gain rest. And then I can fully rely. Let's stop and think about that. Fully rely. If I am not relying on myself, relying on others per se, 
But I know that truly my master, my Lord, is one who provides all that I should ever need. My master, hallelujah, is the one who heals me, consoles me, comforts me. That's where I go when I want to rest. That's where I go to feel love. That's where I go to feel my peace. I can have my peace in him. He is my fortress. And in this place is where I can fully rely on God and know that he is a covenant keeping God. And he'll keep his end of the covenant as we just stay in him. He tells us that we shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. And beloved, the power of the enemy, he cannot, the enemy cannot withstand the power of the most high God. I wanted to share this, what um, happened with me when I was in prayer with the Lord. And he was really teaching me on how to stay high, seated high. And this is something that we have to remind ourselves to do and just do this exercise at times and you'll see just how you can quickly get in the shadow, remain in the shadows when you fully, fully, fully put your confidence and wholly rely on him. So he was sharing with me that, Angela, when you pray for people or for whatever situation and they're heavy, then what I want you to do, Angela, and what I want you to do, listener, is that you'll bring the issue to him. The Bible tells us to cast our cares upon him and because he cares for us. And so when we bring a thing, an issue, a person to the Lord, he wants us to bring it to him, drop it off and fly back up, bring the issue to him, pray about it, trust, lean wholly on him. Hallelujah. Rely wholly on him. Leave the situation there and get back up. I guess the people would say on your high horse or get back there in your heavenly place. And remain there and see from there and hear from there. Hallelujah. Stay in the spirit. Stay right there. And actually, so he, he had me to actually pray for someone of whom I know is going through quite a bit. And it's a heavy situation. So I began to pray for that situation. And I could actually feel the weights of that situation and that prayer. And then I went through leaving it there with him. He would tell me, okay, now release it. How do I release it? You, you remind yourself that you can trust me. So as I'm bringing it to him and I'm still feeling the weight of it, the pressures of it, he whispers, now drop it because you can trust me. And I, what I said to myself, oh, I, I said, yeah, that's right. I can trust you. When I said that, that's right. Uh, let me just leave it right there. And I said, yes, Lord, I trust you. I fully, wholly rely upon you. Here, take this. And you know what, beloved? I was able to soar and fly right back up into my heavenly place and not keep the weight of the situation within my heart and within my mind. And that's what he wants us to do. He wants us to understand that we can dwell in the shelter, we can, and with that we can and will remain in the shadow of the Almighty. He's a mighty good God, and in times such as this, then we have to know where our help our help comes from. Excuse me, we have to know where our our help comes from, and our help comes from the Lord. So if we'll just remember at all times to fly high soar high. The battles that we will experience here, they're not ours. They are the Lord's and he wants us to give it to him. And he wants us just to dwell, dwell in that secret place of the most high. He's provided that place for us and he wants us to remain there so we can be under the shadow and it's there that no devil in hell can touch us. Ooh, hallelujah. I pray that this has blessed you. 
I pray that you will go and just share this and share that that little nugget with someone. Remind yourself as you're praying through these perilous times, because there are perilous times, that you, beloved, will take yourself into prayer and take the situations in prayer Leave it right there before the feet of the Lord. Know that he picks it up. He doesn't want you to carry it. Hallelujah. And you go back and you reign from the position and place that you were created to be. Amen. You all be blessed. This is Prophetess Angela Cook with a prophet's voice. I will see you soon or you'll hear from me soon. God bless you.